Well, thank you guys for being here and uh, Alex and um, where's Alex? He was yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 Alex is a driving force between uh, behind us, but I, we know that we are winners before the announcement. I guess that's what counts, right? So um, two minute mark, very important. Yeah. Yes. So my name is Song Song Jiang and I'm from the Department of Management. The paper that I'm going to present, we have presented in USASB conference, the last conference, and I'm very delighted to my, have my co-author here, Mushtaba Shang, and also Alex the Noble. What's the paper about? It is about the theme of today, which is change. There are multiple sides of change. We have the environment side, you know, urban development, right? That might be an environmental side. We have the firm strategy, right? That's what we care about in business. How does a firm react to external changes, right? Or what's this paper about is on the individual side. When change happens in our life, in our environment, how do we change ourselves? to be with one on, on the change, with the change, right? So this paper is one of our papers that's centrally themed on how does the students become entrepreneurs and how do teams, student teams that are from student become entrepreneurs, how do they build a business? So our sample is 14 teams in the Zong Center Anyone venture out, what is the three for? What is the three for out of 14 teams? Succeed. Yes, they are the ones who have became entrepreneur, right? We normally think to become an entrepreneur, you have to build a business, right? You have to assemble your team, capital, mentor, a slew of things, right? And that may appear to be so, but is that truly so? That's my first question to you as audience. The other question to you as audience is, as educators, we are not necessarily entrepreneurs. What's our role in here? Are we just purely discovering the gem, the jewel from the students? Are those three, already three, before we discover them? Or do we play a role in them becoming the three? So that's my second question to you. Let's begin the journey. I will take you through the journey of one of the teams. They started as with a lot of entrepreneurs with a frustration. The students frustrated sitting in a 500 student auditorium, a 18 year old from a um, small college came here and uh, really don't have the connection with the professors, right? So he started this, what can I do? Can I do something, right? And he was one of the first cohorts in the Zong Center. So we started thinking what he did was uh, learning how to do it, right? Learning how to do it. How to get a team, how to get a mentor, how to pivot, that's a name for change, right? Fancy name for change in business. So, but we were surprised. Instead, we came with social cognitive framework, which is a framework on how we change, how we learn, how we become the role, a, a different role, right? So there are three aspects to this. First, this is from Albert Bandura from the Stanford and very well established framework. There are three elements here. First element is self-observation. When you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to observe what are you doing. Are you doing entrepreneurial things, right? Second is judgment. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to know who the entrepreneurs are and compare yourself with them. With them right? Third is affective reaction, which is if I do something right, do I feel elevated? If I do something wrong, do I feel frustrated? 
And can I change my behavior so that I can do the right things, right? Affect has a lot to do with effort, right? That's why we're interested. So the method is very simple, but very complicated. It's one of the methods I use, the qualitative method. Uh, 14 teams and interview with Kathy. But the uh, problem of qualitative, a lot of people don't understand, is an uh, overload of data. So the key thing is really understand data, compare and contrast between different teams, and then info the literature. That's what we did. And this is the brain of the paper, brain of the presentation. What did we find? The key things are two sides. On one side is about judgment. Judgment in relation to the mentors, relation to who the entrepreneurs are, right? You can have one side which is low and one side which is high. Low is what we start with. Low is someone telling you how to do it, how to find, how to pivot an idea, how to find a team, how to find a capital, right? But that's not enough. High is when someone tell you that this is how entrepreneurs behave. And most importantly, you can be one. You can be one. Right? On, on the other side is negative and positive affect. There are tons of up and, sun and downs, right? And when an entrepreneur can successfully m monitor their emotions so that they always are going forward without being uh, dragged down by the failures, and when they can someone tell them, you are an entrepreneur, this is how you behave, they succeed. If they don't have either one, they fail. More failures than success. So the three and one, the idea of the frustration that started from frustration became course key. They raised $800,000 million, $800, when that 18-year student was frustrated after a few years, $8,000 before this guy can buy a beer for his team. And now they have $2 million. They're one of the most successful teams. So that's their journey. But as a journey of the educators, journey of us, journey of our audience, the most important question is, so what? Do we discover them? They're already entrepreneurs. Or we did something, right? We give them mentorship. We give them all the good things, telling them that you can do it, right? Let me end with a story. The story will take two minutes. And the story is a story of Bozo. From a 1,000 years ago, Bozo is a um, Zen master. He's called the horse master because he's tall. He's taller than Larry, right? When he sit in meditation, he's very, very big. And uh, his master is called Nakatsu, which is six patriarch's disciple. Right? His uh, master said, you know, what, why are you sitting? He said, Baozu said, I want to become enlightened. I want to become enlightened. Right? So you know what Nakasu did? Nakasu went outside of the house and picked up a tile. And he began to polish the tile. So in Japan and in China, when you took the tile from the kind, you start to polish it to give it a sheen, to become brighter. So Basu said, Master, why are you polishing this tile? Nakusu said, because I want it to become a Jew. Basu said, how possible? That's not possible. A tile cannot become a Jew. And then Nakusu said, if it's not possible for a tile to become a Jew, how is it possible to become enlightened through sitting? So this is a heart 
of the presentation, what we can do as educators and as mentors or as the significant others, all we can do is polish the tile. Thank you. Thank you, Shang Shang. You're welcome. Okay, who has a question? Yes. Yep. Shang Shang, did you, as for part of this study, did you study uh, like the 14 individuals? Because yes. I was just curious yes. what, how, how this study transpired. I mean, were, were they interviews? Were, what oh, yes. Were they, like they were interviewed uh, in depth over um, a three month period. Mm -hmm. So one or, or this is a whole team effort. So we, our team trained the research assistants to interview the, uh, the, um, the people, also interview Kathy. So, and then uh, all of us read the transcripts, which sometimes is 15, 20 pages, and then we compare and contrast them. So it's mainly qualitative based, uh, but with a secondary confirmation from Kathy. Yes. Okay, so the ones that you, the three that were successful versus the eleven who were not. Yeah. What were the? Were they? Did, were the eleven ones who tried to be entrepreneurs yes. and you didn't see them? They absolutely they tried. Uh, one of them, I left a big impression on me. Is a sociology major. She wants to do a dating app, um, but. One of the thing is uh, she didn't really get a lot of support. Also, she didn't get a lot of social support. So people were say, okay, cool, in her teamwork, but nobody actually give her any resources or nobody ever actually tell her, okay, you know, this is how you become an entrepreneur, right? And this is how you, uh, you, 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 you behave like one, right? So she got really, I think her name, the, the, this all fictitious name, the name is Go Date, right? So um, you can see our imagination there. So, um, so she, she was one of the failures. So I have a question. Yes. These teams self-selected, they, they banded together and then you interviewed them? Yes. And, and so it was just, how did they find each other? Do you recall? I mean, how do they find each other? Yeah. Uh, they found each other through multiple sources. So Zhang really provided good foundation in terms of they have uh, matchmaking, they have quick matches or things like that. And then they have, they, um, they can find uh, teams through their own social network, some of them from their own classes. And then uh, and they can have posters in the zone and then join a team and things like that. So uh, it's purely their initiative, but they have lots of support. Any other questions, Kathy? So what were some of the things what were some of the things that um, the students who were successful, what were some of the things that they said about how they were successful? Mm -hmm. In other words, their mentors, how were their mentors shining so them? So I remember one important quote. Um, I don't know which one it was. Uh, by the way, there are three successes. Class tablets, which is Korsky, are the most successful. The other two, they have uh, sales, they have things. That's why we categorize them successful launch, right? They either have... Uh, they have some level of sustainability from revenues and from different things, right? So there are, of course, a lot of things that they did, right? Like, for example, Korsky, they learned from everybody. They said one of the mentors uh, came in here, did a Scrum. Uh, some of you in computer science might know uh, it's a Scrum methodology. It's about uh, how do you manage the teams, right? So uh, that was really useful for them. And then uh, they have one of the successful things that I recognize is the successful launches. They learn from almost everybody. So not only engineers, salespeople, but also different, um, you know, different people, right? And then uh, one of the quotes that I remember is um, like, um, is one of the um, person said, one of the mentor told him is, this is how you behave. This is how you behave. So uh, that left an impression on me. So we categorize that as a high mentorship support with psychology support. So since you, uh, at the end of your presentation, you told a lovely sort of poetic 
kind of Zen Buddhist mm -hmm. parable. Yes. I, it makes me want to ask you the question, uh, is there any wisdom from Eastern philosophy that lends itself to your theoretical approach in your study? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, good question, good question. Okay, so um, I practice meditation. I have been for uh, eight years, uh, yoga for 15 years. So, um, but I will tell you, today uh, there was a research assistant. Um, I ro always run into her, each other in the corridor. I don't really know her. She came to me. And she said, I said, um, you are leaving, right? She said, yes, um, I'm trying to find a job, right? So she said, uh, she sounded very nervous, right? Like very kind of uncertain. She said, you know, I'm like really not, I don't know what to do, right? So I said to her, I said, you are in the best of the times. And she said, really? I said, yes, because when you are a moment of change, when you are a moment of uncertainty, you have tons of possibilities. And when you are certain, actually you have only have one. So a book that really influenced me is The Beginner's Mind from Senyun Suzuku. He passed away, but is we always keep the beginner's mind, which is in the beginner's mind, there's tons of possibilities, there are many, but in expert's mind, there are only one. So that's why I love this slam, by the way, because we're all beginners here. Last question, the wall is gonna tie this back to population <laughs> growth, but yeah. Exactly. Um, if I miss this, I apologize. Um, but if you had to pick, mm -hmm. would you work on improving the selection of students into the program, or would you work on improving the technique and the mentorship of mm -hmm. the students that walk through the door. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Personally, I would actually choose to work on the 11 because people might differ, my colleague might differ from me, but personally, this is my belief. Everyone needs to be an entrepreneur. Let me phrase it this way. Everyone needs to be a boss for him or her. But in a society, not all of us need to be an entrepreneur. So the 11 actually is the people who enable the three to be an entrepreneur. So people might have different opinions, but that's my belief. That's why I how I teach my students. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.